All right, I'm gonna test this camera out here. See how it does without the lav mic uh, and how it does with the road noise. But also gonna do a road vlog and talk about training. Every aspect of life can be enhanced with training, right? So say if you're a, uh, a golfer, you'll take training classes maybe on how to play golf to get better at playing golf. If you're a shooter, whatever type of shooting, whether it be recreational or you like self-defense or you like running and gunning or uh, with a cowboy action shooting, uh, you might take a class, but most of the time those classes uh, classes in shooting are about mainly self-defense or maybe tactics and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, if, if you want to be a race, oop, I just hit a big styrofoam ball marker block. Um, and if you are, you want to be a better driver or a race car driver, you'll take classes, training classes on how to be a race car driver. But anyway, lately, as some of you may know, I got a motorcycle and I've been riding my motorcycle and watching videos and <laughs> it's funny, uh, different aspects, hobbies or different interests that people have, they, they parallel in that each one of those different aspects or different uh, interests say you have those that say you need to invest your time in training this if you want to be good if you want to stay alive or if you really want to survive doing whatever it is that you're interested in you know like the the, the um, preppers or the 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 tactical training, uh, tactical survivalist type doomsday guys would say, you know, you're you're just a you're just a, a, a fud or a noob if you don't invest your money into training, right? You could all these people who buy fancy guns, they're they're stupid if they don't spend money on training. If you just go to the range and shoot once a weekend you're you're not doing you're not doing yourself any favors you need to go take a, a tactical training class with uh, what's his name James something whatever, whatever his name is <laughs> and same with uh, I've been watching a lot of motorcycle riding videos you know tips and stuff like that and, and there are a lot of good ones uh, but you run into those that say uh, you're you're still just a you're still just a new if you don't take training classes you need to invest your time and money into taking a training class train 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 and that's all well and good if 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 that's what you're really into right because all that stuff is perishable I trained for about 10 years uh, in martial arts and people in martial arts will tell you well you need to really go to a, a good class and, and train and learn how to do things you it, it's not something that you can do by yourself uh, if you want to get better and, and I agree a lot of these things you know you, you have to dedicate time and, and get people who know supposedly know what they're doing uh, and can teach you and take you to that next level, right? Golf, baseball, whatever it is, whatever art or skill uh, activity uh, requires, it, it, you can only do so much on your own. But the, the thing that a lot of these people who profess to tell you that, you know, you're, um, you're just, you're always going to be a noob, you're always going to be an amateur if you don't take some kind of class. 
to better yourself. Well, yeah, but um, I can still function without the class, right? You, you hear about situations where uh, somebody had to use their gun for self-defense. Chances are they probably never took a class in their life. They're probably just average, you know, citizen like you and me. They, they have a gun. They go to the range. Some people may not have even ever gone. Uh, well, maybe they have gone to the range, but don't go religiously or, or, or have taken any tactical classes. It's all about how much are you going to use that skill? How much do you expect to use that skill right I don't expect like like I said I took 10 years I've been doing martial arts for over 10 years I don't expect to go down the street and get in a fight <laughs> every every week or every month and, you know I'm not a professional fighter I do it for the exercise I do it as a hobby I do it for fun but these people who are into self-defense oh you need to train 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 always train you know, if, if, if you ever get into a fight, you'll need these skills. Well, those skills are perishable, so you need to do it every day, all the time. There's a good video. If I remember, I'll I'll put uh, I'll put that link. But it's a a, a real bona fide Shaolin, uh, what they call warrior monk or fighting monk, anyway. But he trained. I don't know if he finished his training, but he was trained training as a warrior monk, and he says. Some of the things that these monks do, um, you know, conditioning, being able to, you know, punch through walls and break two-inch thick boards and stuff like that, that's all fine and, and good, but it's a perishable skill. It's a it's a perishable function. You, you have to keep conditioning all the time, every day, or else it, it, it degrades, right? So with any training, if that's what you're into, good you know and, and I do recommend if you have the means if you have the time take a training class so at least you're aware but these people will say well you're just stupid if you're not constantly training not necessarily you know we don't always need to train constantly every day all the time if that's not what we do for a living or if that's not we what we do uh, in the situation that we live in right most of us can function just fine uh, without a martial arts class. Uh, yeah, it might, you know, it might be handy. If you took some classes, you might be fair better than somebody who has never had a class. And most of the time, people who might get in an altercation usually try to avoid getting into a physical fight. Hopefully, um, but in my lifetime, I've had maybe you know, in my adult life, I've had lots of skirmishes with uh, schoolmates, so to speak. And of course, you know, kids usually aren't very skilled at fighting, so you're just kind of throwing punches wildly. But as an adult, uh, I think I've gotten into maybe one official fight and I, I'll talk about that later in a, in a different video later uh, but in my 40 some odd years as an adult one fight <laughs> so am I going to train every day all my life for you know point zero 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 one percent possibility that I might get into another fight. If, if anything, the training trains you not to get into a fight. So, um, you know, all this, all this, you know, tactical training, it's all well and good, but uh, I think for, for people who say you need to train all the time, every time, you don't have the time. If that was the case, we'd never have time to do anything else but train, you know, so then uh, you'd have to go train for martial arts so you can protect yourself hand-to-hand -hand combat You'd have to go to the range all the time take a class on how you know tactics of uh, 
of uh, how to, you know, um, handle multiple assailants, single assailants, fast draw, slow draw, uh, weak hand, strong hand, laying on your back, um, and then, you know, you'd have to go to class to learn how to drive a car, because let's face it, 99% of your time on the road is probably going to be, unless you're uh, an avid motorcyclist, is going to be in a car. So, if anything, everybody needs to go to a driving course, and, and if, if I were to profess any kind of training that people should uh, be required to do, it would be driving. Because <laughs> there's a lot of bad drivers out there, I tell you. Um, that's why I have this dash cam. <laughs> um, so then you'd have to go to a driving class, and then after that, if you drive a motorcycle, you, you should go to a motorcycle class, and then, um, you know, if you do any kind of play any kind of instrument you have to go to uh, you know that that instrument class take piano lessons you know you'd be training all your life it's just not feasible um, and I get that some of the people who say you should take a crank train class they're, they're talking about if that's what you're into but you get some of those guys who say you know who kind of ridicule people who who uh, you know who are interested in something if you don't take a class you're stupid I guess that's my long-winded point. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I I agree that it is good. Sometimes you can't get to the next level of proficiency un unless you take a class. But do I think 99% of the people really need a class to, to be as good as they want to be for the situation that they're in? Probably not. So, eh, that's, that's my rambling. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go to Lowy's here and uh, give me some materials. So that's it for now. Catch you later. Bye.